Finally made it to Italy. I have never been so fucking happy. By myself, ripping it through Sardinia. I fucking love this country. There's nothing like it in the world. You're probably like, how did Zach end up in Italy by himself with that shitty haircut? Well, let's rewind. <laughs> it all started last year when my buddy Federico invited me to the Grand Prix in Monaco, but that's a whole other video. After the race, my buddies and I planned a big Euro trip, but of course, they bailed. So I said, fuck it, I'm going alone. My first stop, just got to Amsterdam, let's go eat. So I rented a bike, saw the canals, some dispensaries, some hookers, smoked some weed, ate some shrimp and waffles, and then... Not gonna lie, I was expecting this place to be a little more grungy with like weed and hookers everywhere. Surprise, just weed, no hookers. <laughs> Disappointing. I was kind of bored and I decided, fuck it, I'm gonna go to Berlin. I got Walmart CN Tower in the city of Berlin. By myself, the only thing I brought with me was this beautiful zit on my fucking chin. Berlin was cool, but it was definitely uh, different. I stayed for two nights, partied my ass off, and once again, decided to book a flight to somewhere I'd never been. The beautiful Italian island of Sardinia. Three hour drive to the northern side of the island. Just got pulled over. I don't know if you can see the carabinieri behind me. Rule one, always tell them you're Canadian. Yo sono canadese. Just got off a large ticket, baby. Troppo grande. Okay, so we just finished lunch and now I'm on my way to La Cinta Beach, which was recommended to me by Luigi. Luigi is from Sardinia. We're gonna go with his recommendations instead of all you fucking tourists out there that tell me what to do and where to eat, okay? Sardinia is known for its beaches. Some even refer to it as the Italian Bahamas. I'm just gonna show you guys what a real European bathroom looks like. You can get this high quality in America. No toilet seat, no lock on the door. In case you wanted to shit, let's let everybody see it. Shout out to my friends that ditched me on this trip. Uh, I'm having a great time without you. <laughs> The man who goes alone can start today, but he who travels with another must wait till that other is ready. Now looking back, if I had waited for my friends, I probably wouldn't have gone. So fuck you guys. Found the area of Porto Gervo. Cool little port. Lots of hotels and restaurants and shit over here. Would have been nice to enjoy with a girl. Mm. This place is beautiful, holy shit. I've been driving all over the island and I just found another beautiful beach. I have no idea what it's called, but fuck. Sardinia is insane. Not gonna lie, I got loser drunk on that beach and totally stopped filming any content. So, the only stuff I have is some Instagram stories to relive these nights. Last night was crazy. I uh, went for dinner by myself at uh, a restaurant at Porto Cervo, which was unbelievable. I really don't think you can go wrong with any meal in Italy. That's a lie, you can't. But I've been fortunate where I've been eating such shitty food in Amsterdam and Germany that I could eat... Uh, this bug right here and it's probably gonna taste like a brick of parmesan and from dinner i went to check out fee beach club which was like a crazy beach party it was cool it was a little dark a little techno vibe people were kind of douchebags but maybe i just wasn't drunk enough i left there to go to another nightclub nearby called ritual ritual was so cool it was like a cave stone nightclub i ended up befriending a bunch of italian girls and got drunk and had a fucking amazing time and today i'm checking out of my hotel here but first means first let's go get some fucking can't remember if I showed you guys the room, but it used to look nice until I came in here. 180 euros a night, pretty good. This hotel is dope. Today on the menu, we got a little octopus salad. What a day, what a life. Most amazing day at the beach, snuck into that hotel, I believe it's called Ramazzino. If you got the money and you can fork out 500 euros a night, go stay at that hotel, it's fucking insane. But yeah, if you don't, pull a move like me, act like you're staying there, sneak onto the beach, and buonanotte, it was large. Fuck, I love this place, large! Checked into my new hotel here, hotel, one of the Baja hotels, Biasachi or something. You walk over here, you can see the view. 250 euros, it's usually 350, so. I'm not gonna lie, by this point I'd gotten a little lonely, so I met a girl on Tinder.
beautiful Italian girl. We had dinner, and after a few bottles of wine, we made love under the Sardinian sun. And if she's watching this, ciao bella mi manchi tu. I am now leaving Albia, and I'm on my way to another part of the island where they say is the most beautiful beach, Stintino. It's gonna take me about two hours to get there, so buckle up and enjoy the ride, ragazzi. I just got here. It doesn't look like there's anything fucking else out here, so let's go investigate, shall we? Update. That beach sucks. I'm gonna go find another one. I don't know if you guys can see, but the color of the water from here is crazy. Okay, just got the Spiaggia La Pelosa. This water looks beautiful. Way better than the last beach. Way more action. Let's go check it out. No lie, the only place I've ever seen water look like this, this blue, was the Bahamas. You see shit on Instagram, you're always like, that's Photoshop. I get there and I'm disappointed. Thailand. But this place, the real deal. No Photoshop. Sardinian gnocchi, it's like mini gnocchi. Looks bomb. Now by this point, I felt I had seen everything Stintino had to offer. Maybe it was best I hop in my car and drive three hours south to Cagliari, the major city of Sardinia. Drove five hours today, finally made it to the city of Cagliari. It's a cool city. Don't recommend driving in Italy unless you know how to drive stick. Otherwise, you're gonna be fucked. My last day here in Sardinia. Just gonna walk around, explore the city of Cagliari. It's a cool little town. Uh, from here, I go to Capri. I'm a little tired from traveling. Last three nights of the trip. Let's make it a good one. Fabio, coming for you, brother. Nothing like walking through a European city in the morning. Get up early before all the asshole tourists come out. You can really see everything, get beautiful pictures, see the city, and it's like natural beauty. That's what I love to do, and that's how I get all my amazing photos for Instagram. Large. A flight in a few hours, and I figure why not go to one of the places that Luigi recommended and check out this drive, though. Jeez. Ooh, bellissima. Look at this. Holy shit. I swear to God, every time I find a new place, it gets more and more beautiful out here. Fun fact, they say men in Sardinia live longer than anywhere else in the world. We know why. Look at this life. It's so beautiful. The food they eat, how relaxed they live, they just fucking chill. It's such a cute little town. Pit stop in the village, have a little cappuccino and a smoothie. Trying to live to 100 like the rest of these motherfuckers. That's all I got for Sardinia. Next stop, Tugapri, which is a small island off the Amalfi Coast. I've already been there twice, it's my third time, and I've done videos both times. You guys should go check those out, because I'm going to make a new one, and you want to be up to date. But yeah, arrivederci Sardinia. I love this island. This was a trip I will always remember. Maybe next time we'll come back with a girlfriend. <laughs> that was creepy. Anyways, ciao. And that was all for my first time in Sardinia. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave the thumbs up. If you didn't, it's all good. I really made this for myself to look back on in 20 years. So, fuck it. Thanks for tuning in. Ciao.